And actually, this is getting ready to pop. So let's go over here. Look at this layout. So the future of games is happening first. And I thought we would do that as well. Wholesome Games is in about an hour. Um, but they gave me this cute layout. Well, you know, edited it, obviously. But they gave me like the frame and then we built it all up. But hi, y'all. How, how are you doing? How is your Saturday? Are you also like I have cookies and coffee here to like wake up? Are y'all are y'all awake? Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not awake. I haven't even put out a tweet yet. If someone wants to put out a tweet for me, please do feel free. But how y'all heckin' doing? Hi, Derek. Hi, Haley. Hi, Nix. Hi, Polyhedron. Hi, Blueberry. Nelly, I heart your face. What are y'all up to? Oh my god. But it's finally here. <gasps> Let me know. Play Direct is back. It's been a while, and I know you know how the sound it. is. What the yes, heck? Yes, Ty, it is hard to disagree Bye, with Riley. the fact. Hi, and Gamer Tarasu, you know tomorrow. I can only speak the truth. And the truth can take Hi, Riley, wild how's it going? Turns. Welcome on in. Hold some in an hour, but we're warming up with future in place. Cool. This is the perfect Your test for y'all to let me know. Good news for us. If it's too quiet, if it's too loud, if it looks good, if it sounds good. But y'all's chats will be up here and I will be right here hanging so out and chatting with y'all. And then we'll have the game and we have all the events and we have all this stuff. So let me know if everything looks okay, if everything sounds okay. Um, it reminds you of Toonami? Yeah, like I think it's, okay. So I don't know what's coming up in the in the future of play, but I have so many things on my list that I'm excited for for Wholesome Direct so many things and i'm so i'm so heckin excited so thank you so much everyone for coming on out i don't even have a freaking tweet out yet so let me work on making the tweet um but thank you all so much for being here before i've even like so tweeted what the hell is this <laughs> ice sphinx thank you so much riley i appreciate you thank you so much for six months <laughs> Kenny Lawrence. Okay, I'm curious. The one and only Patriot of the West. What is this? I love that I was just like. I'm gonna look away for a second and write a tweet, and instead I'm like, I am fixated already. I'm like, huh? Yeah, I'm moving this over. What is this? Does anyone recognize this title? Even if we're not yet strong enough, Baroda, this is still our step forward. So I would let someone like you get in my way! What is that? Shout out, lovely. Welcome on in. What's going on? What's news? Oh my god, this looks like Palmon. You know that one like that's like Pokemon, but with guns? Have y'all seen that one? This looks like that, but like a more cutie version. This looks like someone saw them making Palmon and how like that style, and they were like, oh, we could do this too, but in our own style. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god. Atomic panic. How close do you think that like, so when these things happen, I'm always so like curious. I'm like, sometimes the announcements happen and they're like, this game will be out oh, next fantasy, month. And sometimes they do this and they're like, this will be out in five Welcome years. You know dreams. what I mean? <gasps> Hi. This 3D platform, that's what we were saying. Nilly, I was literally saying, I was saying Pal World. That's what it's called. Pal I was calling it Palmon. 
I was like, it looked like Explore someone saw them make Pal World and they were like, oh shoot, we can rush to make one as well. You know what I mean? That's genuinely, and I don't mean that in a negative way, like, I was interested. Pal World? Honestly, the monsters in it look amazing. I'm mad because the monsters in Pal World look fantastic, but I'm upset because I hate guns. Like in the realistic guns and I hate guns. So like if someone siblings and help raise gave me that strong. game minus the guns or less deep guns deep or like, monsters. you know, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Grow body parts to gain Hi Saint, how's it going? Discover who stole your siblings. Can y'all hear the sound okay? Do you mean to turn it up more? Let me know. Let me know if you need Jump, me to crank it. Fly, swim, strike. The audio is a little bit different between some of these. You know what I mean? Mystery is yours to explore in Cavern of Dreams. Did anyone else hear Kevin of Dreams? <laughs> I know they just said Cavern of Dreams, but I swear to God, I thought they called, I thought it was like Kevin of Dreams. A little louder, thank you. The problem is the music and the sound effects are often so loud, like they're loud in my ears, but like, the, um, I wish it was Kevin of Dreams. <laughs> And then the talking is so quiet. That's my issue. I hate that. I get like, sometimes people are doing it for like, for the drama. But sometimes when the talking is so quiet and then the sound effects and everything are so loud. Also, I'm so sorry if I sound terrible. Like I'm still freaking waking up. This is early for me, y'all. This is, you have no idea. I had to be up so early. I miss the fishing capybaras. Rune fencer. Someone write that one down. That's one I want to check because apparently there's fishing capybaras. <laughs> Hi, Rue. Welcome in. How's it going? I'm apparently missing the fishing capybaras. Well, listen, if someone else wants to put out these live tweets for me, feel free. But I'm way behind because this is goddamn early for me. OK. Oh, shoot. This is still up because I was fixing the audio. There we go. Does this count? Does this count as a tweet? Is this OK? Someone press send on this. Is this good enough? It's the, it's just the freaking video I recorded over on Instagram so that, and then I just put words on it. Is this okay? Someone hit send. Well, I have, send. I have two bottles. Tweet it. Someone iPhone. tweet it for me. <laughs> okay, I tweeted it. Go retweet it, please. <laughs> it's not good, but okay. Now we can enjoy. Now, hey y'all, welcome in. Finally ready. It's only seven minutes after 11. That's not bad. It's uh, x -Fish Point Tweety. Hi, Chris. How's it going? I have coffee. I have freshly made homemade oatmeal cookies. I'll share here. Have some. Take some. Whoa. Take some off the plate. Oh, my God. Okay. I got stolen. Oh, flowers. Oh, this is a new, like, live stream. Oh, that's interesting. So it's kind of a cute eldritch. It's kind of a cute Eldritch Amongies. Eldritch Amongies? One more or what's up? Yeah, we could do one more. Okay. Yeah. You can do one more if I'm not <laughs> human. <laughs> hey, I could do one more. <laughs> that is so, that is so. Oh, I thought this was going to be Power World. Cute monster Amongies? Tell me more. Tell me more. We came to this rogue planet to build something that could save our own. Underground, we discovered something beautiful. Ooh, I do like I do like underground beautiful. And a mystery we couldn't explain. Goose goose duck. Interesting. I just kind of wish that they had a minute or two between. Yeah, sometimes I agree. I wish there was a little. I get the, the problem is they do have so much to fit in, because like they're trying to keep it to an hour so that they can Humanity do all of them, the right? Because they're doing this so the future of play direct, Let's and then we work. have wholesome games, and they have to go back to back. So in actuality, sometimes when you go watch the YouTube videos they have afterwards, they're longer than an hour and they've chopped them down to try and keep them within time so that they could all go. So I get it, but I, I agree, Jordan. It would be so nice to have like little rest moments. Ooh, Tectonica. That one's out pretty soon. <gasps> Hi, Vanna. Vanna, I missed it too. In so, one of the previous games, there was apparently fishing capybaras. Well. So I missed it because I was All still trying to put out the tweet because I'm so far behind. Sure and then way. there was another game that was called anyway Caverns of Legend or ca Caverns of Dreams. But instead, 
All of us heard oh, Kevin of Dreams, and now we want that game. Hello. So now, sign us oh, up for Kevin of Dreams. Are you out there? Oh, thank God. I thought I'd lost you. Was that Donovan you know. I heard on the radio? What, you're spying on me now? <gasps> this guy's cute. I, I like this guy. Don't oh. love a robot friend. I, I love a robot friend. Hi, oh. Panda. Welcome in. Power station, baby. Station? Hi, Amy. Oh my gosh, here? I can't believe I missed Kevin of Dreams. I'm so sorry, Amy. Hey, Donovan. Donovan, you copy? Oh no, I don't like when things get sad. <sighs> no, is our friend not friend anymore? Oh, oh no, I don't like that. They gave us a friend and then they made the friend. Oh, this one. Oh, I actually, I think I'm on. I think I'm on a wait list for this one because this one looks so good. This one is the one that looks like uh, Baba Yaga. This one looks so good, Baba Yaga. Dream Spirit, Dream Spirit Antlers. This one's for us. We should play this one. Thank you for shouting everyone out. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Please do enjoy a nice chill morning. Uh, I hope you have something nice. Take care of yourself. Have a drink. Have a snack. Um, I brought some fresh made cookies. Here you go. I'll take off the plate. Your oatmeal. Okay. Is that a pumpkin in a chair? There was a pumpkin in a chair. That's so interesting. That one looks so good. Chicken house, my beloved, right? That looks really interesting. I'm really curious about that one. Oh, is this the one that had that really good, really big Kickstarter? Hi, blueberry bean. Whoa, spoopy. Thank you, Derek. Oh, they're just glossing over the Baba Yoga house as a thing you control. I'm not glossing over it. I think that whole thing looked amazing. It's just like Jordan said. It is Love Shore. This game had an excellent, an excellent Kickstarter. I remember it was a big thing. I think someone we know is voice acting it. I think, I have to double check, but I think some, it looks really cool. Um, Yeah, it looks really, really cool. Like D&D Jordan Lee was saying, I wish there was a little moment between the games because sometimes we're like shouting, we're like excited. We have only a second to enjoy something we saw. Yeah, I'm talking over this one because I don't do scary games. Oh, that's scary. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. And then we don't have time to like stop and process what we saw. So I 100% that Baba Yaga one had so many things I wanted to stop and like comments on because it looks so cool. Nope, nope, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I mean, it looks fun and I would want, I would want to watch people play this one. And I don't know if I would want to play this one. Is this a game you would want to play or you would want to watch other people play? They look kind of like brachials. You know what I mean? Like, the thing, Hotline Miami. No, pass. <laughs> I do wish there was, yeah, it's, it's difficult for, um, so the good thing about the wholesome games is there probably won't be any content warnings necessary. Demon Spore, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there you go, it's done. For anyone that didn't like that one, if there's anyone y'all don't like, feel free to look away and I'll shout out when the, when it's done. Who are you? Because unfortunately, I don't know what games are coming up. Because it's a live announcement. We're doing this all together. And break the heart. Ah! Sorry, Set scary. Caught to work. From the brightest heat. There's lots of scary games that I like. What? Very, was it? Is it color. Ju. Juji. Oh god, I'm so bad. Jury. What's the name of the artist that does the amazing things where people's faces kind of like open up? And Junji Ito, thank you. I was getting that vibe. 
So I'm doing a lot of scary games, but what I will, what I will say is I really like this diff these different ways of scary games. It's not all one kind of scary game, even though I'm not a huge baby. scary the game person. The little one-bit game console that comes with a crank and 24 I games. I love Plus, watching so other people play scary games. games all the time. Just and I know a lot of people really, really adore a scary game, so I'm excited that there's more kinds of games. You know what I mean? For people. My name is Brad Recovers. This looks cute. Cat. Now come back, cat. Everyone, cat count. Everyone, cat. Come back. Bring back the cat. My name is Bring back the cat. Bring back the cat. My name is Spencer Darwin, lead game designer, quantum fan of basketball, long range shooting, high flying, slam dunking, hard stuff in basketball fighting game action. Learn more about these games and so many others at play.date slash games. Has anyone has anyone tried this playset? Because I'm if very all of my interruptions were that interesting. Very curious about how it plays. It looks very 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 now cute. We have cat at home. I know, but you can always have if more you cat. You travel through space. You have to take risks. The cosmic forces that be have aligned for the galaxy <gasps> to kick off, and it's starting right now. Oh. We're all joining forces to help uplift developers with bold new ideas who are oh, working yeah. to bring Let's their go. experiments to life. Over 200 of you have already contributed, and I'm sure you're seeing some familiar faces. All funds go directly to developers, making new, really, really cool shit. And now, hell yeah, we it's love cool shit. Put on your goggles, roll up your sleeves, and let's make some galactic chaos by contributing to the galaxy. <laughs> the future like comes from innovation. Yeah, I know. I've already seen it. All we need now is you. Fundraisers happening right now till June 24th. Let's oh, yeah. get Atomic, baby. Let's get Atomic, baby. I power do like that. That's... Charging. Initiating power saver. Power, huh? Well, I have just the thing. Computer, switch to solar. Let's get some energy back. Initializing solar power. Game. Have y'all seen this one? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Also, I am wearing my Wholesome Direct shirt from last year. Call out to last year's Wholesome Direct shirts. Thank you, Derek. Oh my God, Derek, you're so freaking on it today. Thank you. Der y'all, Derek was like helping me to like check all the commands because I was running late. I'm getting us new links. Thank you, Derek. I want to play this one so bad. I want to play this one so bad. Do you think this one will be a multiplayer game? Can we like play it all together? Can we build like a solar punk like commune in the sky? That's cute, wild mender. Hella gay solar punk commune, come on. Oh, I really like the, did you all see the, like, the digging of, like, the, the ditch? Ditch is often used in such a, like, negative way. But ditches are so important, y'all. Ditches, really important. Something I learned from my, uh, environmental engineering degree. <laughs> so important, you know? Ooh, look at those monsters. <gasps> Yay, Mark, that's so exciting! I really like the style of- oh my god, look at that field of flowers. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <gasps> Is that a beaver?! Oh my god, Twitch TOS, beaver live on stream. Don't- No, don't shut me down, Papa- Papa Twitch. Showing the beaver live on stream? That looks really cute. Why are there so many cute games, y'all? Here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to make a list. We're gonna have to conquer and divide on this, okay? We're gonna have to make a list and then we're gonna have to work on it, okay? We're gonna have to like take, we're gonna have to pick and choose which ones we're all playing so that we can figure, so that we can get them all played because there's too many goddamn cute games out there. Oh, cute! What the hell? Oh my god, it's just like graffiti!
me. Oh my God, you just go around making like live art in the city. It's like an urban art creator. Oh my God, I'm really excited to see what people do with this actually. I know we haven't even gotten to the wholesome direct. Yeah, I agree with that too, Nicholas, though. It's a reverse of Power Wash Simulator. That's pretty funny. I, I wish that like, yeah, it's a little bit difficult when a game is named after a whole genre. It would be nice if it had like some some more specification because it like, because when you're talking about a whole genre, it's just a little bit awkward. What is this? This music, is anyone else like, this is big Pokemon vibe music. I mean, I get it. That's probably the point, but. Actually, they switched it up. Now it's now I'm getting something else. Yeah, Earth, uh, the Earthbound. Oh, no. I'm just gonna shout every time I see a cute animal. Y'all, do this with me. Every time we see a cute animal on screen, just shout, just shout the pig! <laughs> pig! Pigeon! Burb, pig, burb pig. Hi, T! Can we have a shout out for T? <laughs> what has happened? like I love when we can call upon things that are reminiscent hi Lamia oh my goodness hi it's so nice to see you welcome on in I hope your Saturday's doing okay welcome welcome we're just getting excited and like hype about games and then shouting every time we see cute animals so welcome in it's so nice to see you um look. I love when we can talk on things we find games reminiscent of without it being a negative or a detractor you know what I mean 
because I think that happens too often when people are like, oh, this is just another Stardew or this is just another Animal Crossing. And I hate when people talk on that negatively because, you know, every game is made by a different person who has something different to say and have something different to add and like probably was going for a different mechanic. So even if you see something reminiscent of something, like it's nice to be able to say like, oh, this reminds me of this in like a really cool way, but like, you know, it's doing its own thing. It's like, it's, you know, they've, they've taken that and then they've gone this way with it. Like, dinosaur, sticker book. Oh my God. I love how many of these y'all are saying like, I've seen this dev doing stuff on TikTok. You know what I mean? Or I've seen these videos or like, that's very cute. That's revolution, a mood. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of, oh, we played this on stream and it was so cute. We played this on stream and it was so cute. Y'all. This game actually, like, firstly, it's so cute. We made such cute villages. And then also for anyone that missed it, Everyone in chat, you were literally able to like put, I can't remember, exclamation point play or something. And everyone was able to like, your little person got dropped into the town and then they just walked around and did their own thing. It was so freaking cute. It was so freaking cute. We made like a super secret in the middle of the ocean hot dog stand and it was five Michelin star rated. And uh, this is the lore I built for the world. It was very cute, very fun, very silly. There was a, there was a hedge maze. get a tweet out if anyone didn't already sweet or wants to interact with any of the socials in any uh kind of free way that's super appreciate i don't know if that's gonna be the right one but hi hi dustin hi sandy welcome whoa what's happening here sexy vector person hello <gasps> what's this stories tell of a time when the skies were lost Oh, is it gonna no be a sky, build <gasps> sky house builder? Clouds. We had forgotten how to gather distant resources. And we could no longer explore our vast horizons. But we never lost that way. No, our problem is survival. Whoa! We must defend ourselves. How did you know that we was gonna must happen, Cass? Seek out and defeat our enemies. We must restore the Airborne Empire. Is my stream dropping frames? Or is it Twitch being stinky? Or. Because I'm not showing any drop frames on my end. Hang on, I have the stats bar open. I'm not showing any issues over here. Okay, thanks everyone. <gasps> Wandering Village! Wandering Village! I want to play more of this. I only got to play a little bit of this one. And I really loved it. I remember streaming like the demo of this and like Nilly, I feel like you kept helping me and encouraging me to keep going. I was like, I'm nervous. I, I get really intimidated by 
like games like this. Like I love them, but I get intimidated and then I get lost in them. But this looks extra, extra, extra good. This looks like a cool update. <gasps> a water update? Ocean update! Oh my God, that's so cool. My God, there's so many. Go! Llama! <laughs> Yo. God, there's so many. Mark, there's so many I want. Um, there's so many floating island, floating ocean, floating like, there's so many games like this coming out. You know what I mean? Sky Village, <laughs> Solar Punk. <laughs> it's cause we all just want to live a cozy life and be able to have homes and build uh, socially responsible communes and video games are giving them to us. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, you missed it. Earlier, there was a, a game called uh, Kevin of Dreams. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was called Kevin of Dreams and not Cavern of Dreams. We all heard it. <gasps> Is it a flying turtle island? Squaggle? Squaggle! Hi! Building, breaking, building again. We're we want always the Jetsons climbing without to capitalism. Heights, trying to find the best ways Wait. to express ourselves. You know, Oh, there's no captions. Fishing. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, yes. With help, of course. Team effort. Mm -hmm. Enough introspection. Don't want to become too I think the whole, too wholesome games will have captions. Let's They're always really good about some that. some cosmic bangers. Something I'm sad that there's no captions for this one. I picked these especially for you. Whoa! Hello, boss babe! <gasps> Fishing! Cool seagull! The Groobarons? Hello, what? What? Oh my god, is this like a rum run? Punched a seagull. I know that was wild. You ever just punch a seagull? Ooh, escape from Mistwood Mansion. Hello. Hello. The run running game was super fun. There was a few there. Like they went a little bit quickly, so I think I missed. They do look interesting. Oh, that looks interesting too, Sam. Uh, learn Japanese with photography. Oh my God, nerds, get ready. I know a bunch of you nerds want to learn. Look at this. This looks so good. That looks really cool. What a fun idea. That is cool as hell. Bugaboo pocket? What? Bugaboo pocket? Cute. There's a lot of mystery games here. This looks cute. Gumfield Mystery? Cute. The run running aspect of your business legit game. Oh, okay. It's like a little Tamagotchi. Oh my god, touch stars in this panini? You bet. <gasps> what? Snowboarding? Snowboarding Capybara? Lemur? Lemur through the sky? Oh my god, double lemur through the sky all the way? really fast that was because that was supposed to be like a quick little clippy it's of the already things. time duty calls need to continue looking out for the best the galaxy has to offer and although future of play direct is exiting transmission range the show isn't over there's a steam event going on right now where you can find all of these there cosmic you go. bangers so if you go over more. to this link on steam Plus, you'll find everything that was on this list world today out there a wholesome one thank in you fact. derek and trust me, you don't want to miss it. Let's steamroll into the future together. Melios, signing out. See you on the other side, dear player.
right, what was your favorite? Oh my God, what are y'all, what are y'all running over to Steam to wish list? Which one, which, which is something that you already knew you were excited for? And you got to see and get more hype? Oh my God, I drank all my coffee already? F me. <laughs> yeah, I thought this one was an hour too. It's okay, cause we can always like, rewatch or go over a prep for the next one as well. Like I honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind a little break cause that's a lot. These are always like a lot really quickly. The next one's definitely an hour because in, in my, I like, I actually went back and watched some of the old wholesome directs and some of them were like an hour 15. So they were pushing it because there's so much. Yeah, we can always go back and see the other ones. Yeah, so this was Future of Play Direct, the one that I was official, there you go, uh, official co-streamer for is Wholesome Direct. Um, so look, it actually like, there you go. So we'll switch over to prepping for that one. I didn't realize this one was only half an hour though. That's interesting. It's very, very interesting. So the events of today are uh, Future of Play, Wholesome Direct, Future Game Show. I wasn't, oh no, that's, to, no, that's today as well. Future Game Show, Xbox Showcase and Starfield Direct is tomorrow and then PC gaming show is also tomorrow, it looks like. So I know for the Wholesome Games, which is gonna be happening, um, that one's an hour and that one is over 70 games. So it's a lot, it's a lot, a lot. And, and I will say, I'm not allowed to say what I have, but I, for the Wholesome Games event, I was, sent a packet, a packet of demos to, so they are already preloaded. I have loaded up a bunch of demos that they have pre-sent me that are going to be unlocked and released for like after the event. But I already, I won't lie, I already played some of them. I already tested some of them. I already, I can't be real with y'all. One of them made me cry really good really really good hey get out of my steam account kevin get out of there <laughs> hey hey don't go don't <laughs> you're not wrong <laughs> you're not wrong because that will give you some secrets and hints and clues but i gotta make sure they work on your machine yeah i did I, so i loaded up some of them already um some of them I played and some of them I didn't yet. Unreleased stuff is hidden now, is it? So you can't see, for example, that I already played through and that I already played through and that I already played. <laughs> okay. Cool. I actually, actually, you know what? I don't know if I'm allowed to, ugh. One of them is already live publicly. Cause I went and checked with the with the team. I was like, hey, is this one supposed to be publicly available? Because it already is. And they're like, yeah, we decided to just pop that one off. So one of them, they didn't announce it. I went and checked. I went and checked their socials. They didn't announce it. I went and checked like all the event info. They didn't announce it, but it's one of the demos is publicly available already. Um, and it's one I'm very excited for. It's the one that made me cry. It's the one that made me cry. So just saying. Pretty, uh, Pretty good. Let me turn this back. Ba, ba, ba. So I wonder if, if we go over here, this is the next one, this is wholesome, but it's not on. When this one is ready to go on, then we'll switch over there. I guess we'll leave this one up for now. Or I mean, I guess we just go over here. Hi, how's it going? How y'all doing? Happy Saturday. I, A, don't stream often on Saturdays, and B, never stream this early. Y'all, my alarm went off at 9 a.m. this morning. 9 a.m., do you know how early that is for me? It's 9 a.m. early, it's goddamn early. And I ignored it, I ignored it for a while. I ignored it, I ignored it for longer than I probably should have. Anyways, you know what, let's go, let's go over to the scene. Um. Millie's trying to reel in some guardians. 
actually still also have the feature of play up and that one's counting it down 25 22 21 20 19 i'm not gonna count it down but it's counting it down and i wonder if it's also gonna play it because this is the wholesomes page and then this is the ign page all right are y'all ready oh my god there's gonna be so many good games do you think there's gonna be shirts this year do you think they're gonna like have cute stuff again what do you think they're gonna do also can we talk oh my god i just realized i forgot to talk about this there it is there's the countdown okay so i'm gonna shush this one shush you go away we're doing this one now i'll turn this on let me know how the audio is they always do this they always do this little countdown here we go okay what i wanted to say was did y'all notice the lineup of folks that are hosting this event can we talk about how there have been listen not naming names not naming names but you know what i'm talking about when i say there have been several other game announcements in which there have been no literally no femme folks on the stage no one of like <laughs> no people of color like no no one at all except white cis hat men on the goddamn stage in this state in 2023 in our freaking game spaces you're gonna tell me you couldn't find a single non cishet white man to come and come on stage and share the hype and share the announcements and talk about games. Are you kidding me? And then meanwhile, you know who's announcing this one? Just a whole goddamn gorgeous variety of folks. Just, it's okay. Cause we're making it up for it with these events. The Wholesome Direct has got us. The Wholesome Direct has got us. Listen, I had a hard time not calling it out. I was almost... Y'all, I had to shush myself from tweeting. I had to shush myself from tweeting cause I really wanted to tweet about it. Uh, cause I saw so many people like being like, oh my God, there, there was nothing but cis hat white men on these stages. And I kind of wanted to share like just the, I didn't want to, I didn't want to put wholesome games in a spotlight where it seemed like I was dragging them into the mess. So I didn't do it, but I really wanted to be like, hmm, look at this, hmm, look at this lineup. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Look at this, look at this. So it's almost like, it's almost like that was a real cis hat white man choice to only feature those faces and those voices because obviously obviously uh, the world of gaming is beautiful and varied and diverse and it didn't need to look the way it was it did not need to look like that that was a goddamn choice that someone made and multiple people approved Ugh. hi bare hands welcome in yeah it was a nightmare to see i remember that's how it always was when i was a kid i know but we've had enough of it so it's time to switch it up you know, it's time to show as a heads up. My uh, state was sarcastic. We love this. Oh, no, I know. Oh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan. I know <laughs> you're good and valid. Hi, Octo. Welcome on in. Yeah, this is just the top of it. Have you not seen the whole thing? I accidentally put a bi pride flag on my head. It literally goes pink, purple, blue, blue, pink, purple, blue, blue. It's very gay. Yes. You're, if you yeah if you've never seen the wholesome direct before you're in for a treat it's so good i don't get um why you'd want the blandest options imaginable to share your project of what you're doing beans you're right and you should say it you're right and you should say it your youtube stream is ahead of mine let me try refreshing is it because this one is doing it i just real hang on if i mute this are they ahead of it on this one let me see it's because this one is doing it ahead. No, that's why. It's because um, IGN didn't do the little the little countdown. Ma B, ma bad. You know what? I didn't know that was gonna happen. So I have a I have it up on the wholesome directs page, which is their actual official page. So you know what? I'm gonna hang out and support. We're gonna hang out and support them here because we love the Wholesome Games Direct and we want to support them on their own page. So that's my B for not knowing that it was going to be in multiple places and uh, that it was going to be a little faster over there. But here we are. The person who planned that has opening stated and debated the diversity isn't necessary. Oh, Lamia, I didn't know that. They've openly stated and debated that. Dis Disgusting! <laughs> Annoying nerd voice. 
Chris says this event was for core gamers, so they were reflecting their audience. <laughs> Fair hands. Oh my gosh. I wanted to specify in this day and age, you never know. Yeah, and text can be really tricky, so I totally get you. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, you know what? We're taking a second, we're counting it down. We're getting hype. We got this. Y'all ready? Let's go. We're gonna watch this together. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching this with me. I'm so, I'm gonna turn my microphone down a little, because quite honestly, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. So excited, I'm so excited. We played this demo and it was so cute. Legit. You got to arrange flowers in this demo. Also, let me know how the audio is, because this is on a different marker. I didn't make sure I put it in the same place. So let me know if it's okay. It was so good, right, T? It was so good. I cannot wait to play more of this game to unlock the market and see all these wonderful, amazing like folks making, making their fun and unique stuff in the market and we get to make flowers. I'm so excited. If y'all haven't seen this one, it's coming out October. What an incredible way to Jenny! kick off our first ever Wholesome Everyone? Direct pre-show. My what name is Jenny Wyndham, and this bite-sized program is meant to showcase updates, brand new content, and even a check-in with a couple enjoy. of our Wholesome Direct alumni. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea, and get ready for this next announcement. Jenny! If y'all don't know, if we have a shout out. Can we, have a, can we please have big, big shout outs for Kim Chica? If there's anyone here and you don't know Kim Chica, fix that. Fix that. Go follow Jenny right goddamn now. Also, is this audio okay? This is actually a studio um, not far from me. Oh my god, those little. Oh my god, I want that. Much. Did y'all see that? Quiet. Oh, is it? Maybe I turned it up too much. It's one of those things that, because when someone is talking, like when Jenny is talking, it's quiet. Sorry. <laughs> when Jenny is talking, it's quiet. And then when I scream. <laughs> I am Sorry. so happy to share that we are joined today by Saffron, the creative director of Kitten Cup Studio uh, and the celebrator of an early access launch right now. Congratulations on the early access of Pico. How are Congrats! you feeling, Saffron? Oh, thank you. Well, I feel terrific. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Uh, but actually, you know, I feel incredibly excited and I'm so proud of our team. We put so much of ourselves into this game. so. I, I can't wait to share it with everybody. Before we move on to the next announcements, I'm curious if you have anything you'd like to share with the Wholesome Games community um, before we head off. Yeah, I want to thank everyone who has supported us so far, especially Wholesome Games. You know, we announced Pico during the very first Wholesome Direct, Pico. and it feels like we've come full circle by announcing our launch during a Wholesome Direct. <laughs> the cat with the sunflower so, is very yeah, cute, we're yeah. just incredibly grateful to everyone who believed in us and who also felt the need to <gasps> these make cups. Cats. I want these cups. One more announcement. Uh, <laughs> we will be having launch merch. So launch merch. Oh my God. Merch. We will be working with Misky. I'm already repping. Oh my God, Jordan, the shirt you want oh is going to be on sale. Uh, so yeah, I will be available for pre Jordan, they heard you. They heard you. Twitter, Instagram, anywhere on social media you can find us. <laughs> Oh, that's super exciting. Well, congratulations on your early access launch and double congratulations on the merch. And thank you for joining us today. Spirit Swap. I'm really excited for this one, too. The music. Oh, my God. Just the music in this alone. So this game is coming out, like, I'm pretty sure, like, even just the music is gonna come out as a thing, because the, the music is such a key part of it, and it's so, literally, lo-fi beat. So excited. <gasps> World premiere! Come on, Fennel, we're playing soccer, what? Y'all, 
football. Do you call it soccer or football? How cute. Be sure to go check out the Spirit Swap demo now on Steam, and definitely don't forget to wishlist Button City's brand new game, Button City Soccer Days. Button now, City! we've had brand new games and demos already announced, so why not spice it up by dropping yet another wholesome game for everyone to enjoy today? <gasps> Wait, today? Today? Oh my god! What? You haven't figured it out yet? The world is ending? What? End of the frog world? What is going on? Frog song? Out now? What the hell, y'all? Go! Oh my god, go check it out. Welcome, Brandon, the lead dev and founder of Frog Team Games. Everyone, now, one welcome, thing Brandon. That I was Hi, Brandon. very curious about is why frogs and what drew the inspiration for Frog Song. One time when I was younger, I was camping with my family and I saw all these toads by the lake and I just started drawing these toads as these like fantasy villagers. This is the most wholesome story ever. I love the idea of just like a younger Brandon creating this world while out camping. It feels very, very wholesome. Did you have anything you'd like to share with the Wholesome Games community in particular? The Wholesome Games community has been a huge part of Frog Song's journey, so it's an honor to be launching alongside the Wholesome Direct. And it is definitely an honor to have you. Um, thank you again, and a big congratulations on your launch. And that's it for the pre-show. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And now, time for Wholesome Direct. Oh my god, that was just the pre-show. That was just the pre-show, and now it's time for the Wholesome Direct. Welcome back to Wholesome Direct, a celebration of wholesome games. My name is Jenny Windham, and I am joined by my wonderful co-hosts, Kennedy Rose and Gab Smulders. Sit back and relax as we bring you exclusive footage and announcements from nearly 80 wholesome games. And remember, if you see any 80. games you love today, head over to wholesomegames.com to get all the 80. info and find out how you can support the developers. Exclamation point wholesome in the chat, y'all. <gasps> World premiere, bug. If I if I was a worm, would you still would you still love me? Oh my god, the upside down. That was so cool. Okay, that was Oh! Worm jump! You're going to be a butterfly. No. I don't think that's who I am. Oh my god, what? You get your sticky fade away from my precious feet, y'all. This is me putting in my. This is me putting in my VO. Please, someone let the devs know that I will. I will do any of these voices. If you really want to stop your change, I know a way. <laughs> Caterpie, is that you? <laughs> I am a caterpillar. <laughs> That's such a fun this name. This is Hako. The new intern at Bubblegum Galaxy. Hi, Hako. She'll now show us how to build planets. <gasps> Sorry, I meant to say restore the galaxy? Build a planet by placing tiles. What? 
Finish missions to earn points and additional tiles. Cute. Place your tiles wisely to complete quests and win stars. The more stars you get, the more planets you'll be able to restore. Each planet will have its own quirks and special rules. I love, oh my god. As you the gather color stars schemes? and prove your skill as a planet architect, you will get to know more about your coworkers. A planet architect? Oh my god. And then there are coworkers and you're all like building little universes? What? what? Oh my god, this the manager. So good. Help Hako rebuild and save Bubblegum <gasps> oh Galaxy. No. Check out the demo. Available now. That is on such Steam. an amusing idea. Taking something as huge as like galaxies and being games, like, let's and we're making sticky business, make it a like, business. small business simulator game. Sticky you business, stickers, the sticker game. Orders, and hear about your customer stories. You can play the demo right now on Steam. We'd love to see your creations and hear about your thoughts and ideas over on our Twitter or TikTok. And now this is one of the demos we have to play right after stream. On the internet. I'm so excited. It looks so cute. Look at Experience that D20 the in the game board. This looks so cozy, cute. Small business. What were your favorite kind? Okay, firstly, one, did you have a sticker collection book when you were a kid? And two, what were your favorite kind of stickers? Was it like scratch and sniff? Was it like the puffy ones? Was it like the sparkle ones? You know? There were so many cool, Create so stickers, many cool pack like stickers. And hear your customers' stories. Spice Girl stickers. Oh yeah, gum packs. Oh my god, that's so cute. Look at th this is so cute. Look at the little boxes you can make of stuff. I was gonna I wish I saw Time this to build collection. the cutest shop on the internet. Hell yeah. I still collect stickers as an adult. Hell yeah. I have stickers. I just don't have a nice I don't have like a nice collection book for them anymore. You know what I mean? Because I get a lot of stickers like well, I used to when I used to <laughs> when I used to do conventions. I'd always collect stickers because I love stickers. I don't have like a sticker book or anything anymore. Where do you put Island your stickers? Is a creature collecting life sim set in an open world with a hundred plus islands to explore. Make friends, oh my God, potions, so many cute creatures. collect spirits, and test your strength in card based encounters to complete Yeah, I'm the same way, Rue. I love training. getting stickers and I just never know what to do with them. Oh, that's Moonstone Island! <gasps> what a collaboration! Look at this. Station to Station is a minimalist line, railroad yeah, totally building simulator that books. artfully combines a relaxing experience like with eye-pleasing voxel art need a visuals. <gasps> oh Populate my god, this looks very Lego. Hey Lego nerds and in chat. Connect the world by building train tracks. Train tracks! Trains! Look at this. This looks... All aboard! Station to Station, Jordan trains. Hi, I'm Mala. <laughs> I am an artist and we are making an adventure management game, The Palace on the Hill. We love playing cozy adventure games with a unique story and setting. And so we are making just that. The game is inspired by our own life and travels in India and it is coming out very soon. Enjoy the trailer and please add to your wish list. Oh, this, I think I already wish listed this one because it looks so good. This is like up on the hill. The Palace on the Hill. I knew it. This one looks so good. I know we've talked about this one before. <gasps> love it. Love it. Love it. Oh. A story of struggle with a sprinkle of romance. This is so cute. This looks lovely. <gasps> the cow shed it reminds me of my parents' village in India. This is beautiful. I think my mom will like watching me play. Oh, Rue, that would be so I'd cute. I'd like to take a moment to thank a few friends and partners who helped Hi, make today's show possible. That includes Devolver Digital, Sodesco, oh, yeah. Hell Studio yeah. Dry Dock, Hyperbeard, yeah. Raw Fury, oh yeah. and Fireshine oh yeah. Games. Again, a big <laughs> thank you from the Wholesome Games team to you. <gasps> Bunnies! Usagisima is a cozy, relaxing bunny collecting game.
Bonbons! Sold. <laughs> Decorate an abandoned island while you discover and make fun, friends fun, with a variety fun, of fun. cute, curious bunnies. So nice. Shima, Karmazu is a joyful co-op platformer <gasps> where up to 10 random players help each other using the unique abilities of 50 different characters. Look at this. Look at, look at, this. look at these amazing announcers. Karmazu is a game about finding bliss in cooperation. So good. So good. Join a joyful this is the show we need. This is it right online. here, y'all. And combine your abilities to complete the loop. Oh my god, this looks so... In Karmazu, there are a billion ways to share the love. Choose one. Oh my god, 10 players. Do y'all think we could do this? To make them sticky. Spit on your friends! Sacrifice yourself to drop a helpful tombstone. What? Strip down to your trunk to give Okay, a tag yourself. Tag yourself. Spin the spider's web for others to, to climb. There's oh Smash my god, but the smithereens to clear the way. Oh my god, there's there's so many creatures. Look at this. Hi Lottie, Sing welcome your on heart in. Out to create the bridge. There's a corgi, there's a llama. How do you choose? But you don't oh need the reason to carry your friends to victory as they bask in their eggs? natural glory. Ah! Karmazu, a this game looks like for a you. really fun game for us to play all together. This looks like it could be a really fun community. <gasps> Capybara! Cute! Sorry, this is why I turned myself down because I knew I was going to be screaming with excitement. <gasps> you can pet the capybara! 10 out of 10! 10 out of 10, good game! <laughs> the phone with the most. <laughs> Allie, Welcome those were exactly the ones that wouldn't show us our, cozy their pretty farming wings. <laughs> and crafting game where you breed and collect frogs. Customize and decorate your very Oh my own god, there is so much frog content this year, y'all. <gasps> okay, no, but this looks really good because they're focused on rehabilitating the wetlands. It's the summer of... Okay, I really... It's called a frog refuge! We are just getting started, but I'd like to take a moment to mention our collaboration this year with the Able Gamers Charity. Able Gamers is a nonprofit organization Hi, dedicated to improving Frogs accessibility and enabling more people with disabilities Able Gamers, to be able hell to play yeah, let's video go. games. They assist individuals in getting the peripherals they need. We have a command for Able Gamers. Can one of the mods check for me? Accessibility and more. We've partnered with Yeti with to them offer before. two limited time oh, Wholesome Direct t-shirts to celebrate today's new shirts, event, new shirts. and 100% of the proceeds benefit Able Gamers. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit ablegamers.org and get your limited time t-shirts at theyeti.com slash wholesome games. Hi everybody, Steve Spawn here. Wholesome games are great. They have great content, they're great fun, they're awesome to enjoy. But I don't think it's really about the game's content so much as it is the safe space that they provide where everyone is welcome, everyone has a seat at the table, I and your everyone cozy. can have fun so together. Good. <laughs> I appreciate that, Mark, because I feel very, I do feel self-conscious about it. It's why I, like, stepped away from the mic Explore and everyone was like, well, right now you can't hear, we can't hear you. because I don't want to scream, but I'm excited. Adventure inspired by classic tabletop role-playing games. Nerds! Can we get some dice in the chat? Look at this! This looks so cute! Play with up to four friends as you meet charming NPCs, collect oddball items, and complete quests to unlock the secrets of the land. This looks so cute! Oh my god, you come together and you play it together? See, this is what I'm so bad at. I want to do streams with stuff like this, but I'm so bad at, like, scheduling a time. Will someone hit me up so that we can, like, do this? I want to play this game with people on stream. You know what I mean? 
the upcoming That's the DLC kind of game for where I want to like left cleans out the cabinets and play together with people with on stream. delightful new cupboards and drawers <gasps> themed this puzzles to discover. This game is so discover. good. A little to the left. Yes, please. Along Let's with even please. more charming illustrations play and surprising please play scenarios. It? Please. Little to the left is such a good one. Coming it's such a good one. Henry Halfhead is a quirky sandbox adventure Henry game about Halfhead. possessing and This one looks so silly. Today, can we Henry also talk about the fact, like, can we talk about the fact, like, no, they enjoy no must, no fuss, not trying to be like mean or rude, but love. the other games event haven't always had captions ready, and this event and came ready Please fully, wish list Henry perfectly now captioned. Steam. Hi, I'm Preeti, and I'm making Gorbats. Just saying. A cozy Just saying. Sandbox. It's possible you can do it. Content and can be accessible. Let's add accessibility to all our content, Depending please and thank you. Build, they might play chess, read, drink tea. It take should a be nap, the standard. Fish, Hi, Jova. Yeah, and with captions in other and languages. The exactly. Thank you, Jova. And see what the Gorbats will do. And now, by popular request, the final release will have fun. <gasps> farming in Gorbats! And pull weeds to grow a beautiful Farming in Gorbats! is coming soon. Yeah, we played Gordlets. It was really cute. We did a little demo resource. of it. This is another one I've really we played a demo of this one and it was really, really fun. Legacies, a cozy management sim. It was really gay. We kept making the gayest cute couples we could, Create but then the people kept cheating on each other drama. and like and ensure that your breaking up their couples. Do y'all remember this one? This one was the drama. This one is on BC on July 20th. This one was the whole entire drama. Hi Cozy Gamers, I'm Martina and I'm Mick and we're the founders of Loftier, a cozy MMA game about working together to build a better living world. We're currently working towards our Kickstarter campaign which will launch soon. You're about to watch our very first Yeah, totally game. Octo. Welcome Real to Loftier, of Lakeburg. a game about working together to make a <gasps> positive impact on the world. You can learn skills Cute. such as hydroponic farming and sustainable hydroponic crafting. Hydroponic farming and sustainable crafting? Oh my god, sustainable crafting? And projects to improve the city. Whether you love socializing this one's called with Loftia. friends, both old and new, this looks... or prefer oh my playing God. solo, why are these all so good? <gasps> Puppy! Oh my God, this looks so good! This is an MMO? That's wild! <gasps> Creators of Chicory and Wander Song. They just need a coach. Oh my god, that's cute. I can't believe that was an MMO. I'm super curious about it. And not all the houseplants were Monstera. Yay variety. Oh my god. Oh my god, so it's like Pokemon, but instead you're making a team, like a, a sports team. Not enough cis hat white men in this showcase for my taste. Mm, that's how we like it. <laughs> Listen, we have to make up for all the bullshit content where there's nothing nothing but cis hat white man looking at you every other games announcement event so far pokemon volleyball what a vibe i feel too included <laughs> Beastie Ball? Oh, that's funny. Oh. I didn't see you there. <gasps> Hi! I didn't see you there either, Noah. Noah. You might know me as some humble onion. And for the past two years, I've been Everyone developing say Hi, a little game about a little mushroom. Today, I have some very exciting news to share with you about it. So be sure to watch until the end. turn-based volleyball is gonna turn out yeah that is really i'm really curious mush lad oh my god capybara mush oh my god we got mush we get mush lad we get capybara oh my god the goodness the goodness 
so much goodness. <laughs> Do not fear the blades, squishy mushroom. You are not my love. You are not my love. Mycology journal, what? Mycology journal. Bless, 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 bless. We are blessed. Smushy! Smushy, come home! It's called Smushy! Available now? What? Now? What? My rat with wings, welcome in. Now? Y'all. Smushy, come home. <gasps> Vemba, 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 Vemba! I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this one. I'm so, for those of you that don't know, this is about an Indian family in Toronto, in Toronto in the 80s in the city that I live in, that I grew up in, that my immigrant goddamn family is from. This is about a beautiful, wonderful immigrant, immigrant family in Toronto in the 80s. I'm so excited july 31st they have an official day i'm sorry i'm so excited that's right around my birthday this is a birthday present for me join the icon <gasps> little nemo as you i'm so happy y'all have no idea i've been Thunder so excited for that one i'm going to cry my ass off pjs I'm gonna cry so much. Like, discover y'all have no idea. Dream domains and encounter a colorful cast of characters, all threatened by the mysterious oblivion, which only you. Oh my God, Vanna! Along the way, you'll face challenges, but don't. I don't like saying when my actual birthday is, but like. Sound in your bedroom. Take a quick breather before you go to bed to continue your adventure. Listen, I'm a fae being and I, you know, I don't have an exact birthday. I was just kind of like appeared in the world, in the universe. For a limited time. Little Nemo! Next, we've Is got it like updates the, the story? Games from our friends the game? I'm excited. Stay tuned for the latest from Garden Witch Life and Orange Season. Thank you, Gab! Cute! <gasps> Rainbow Witch! Oh my god, did you see that Rainbow Witch shirt? Oh my god, look at these characters! These characters are so cute! <gasps> the chopping! The sitting! The frogs! I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all! Aw, Octo. It's a very merry unbirthday. Exactly. That's what that's what I celebrate. <laughs> this is the year of frogs and capybaras. <gasps> cute orange season. Oh, that's cute. Chimkums and a goat. What? <gasps> Climbing game. Surmount. Surmount. Climbing game. Look at. What? What? Oh my god! The belaying between friends! The friend belay! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is actually another one of the ones where we have an early- I have an early access demo of that one, if that's one of the ones you want to play. We played this demo! We played this demo the other day and it was so freaking cute! And it's on Kickstarter now! Curious how I feel like that co op would be infuriating, Trout. Honestly, this one is so cute. For anyone that mixed, missed it, we played this demo, and it's like the mechanics are in the style of like Hades or Cult of the Lamb, in that it's kind of like randomly de generated maps. It's all these beautiful, cute flower maps, and instead of like trying to murder monsters, you're trying to kind of like 
feed them and appease them. It's really, really, really cute. So your magic puts out like plant magic and then all the plants get excited. But if they get too excited, they accidentally like bop into you and hurt you. So it's really, really cute. And then you can run out of like Hi, energy. Direct. We want to welcome you to Garden Buddies. Garden Buddies Garden is Buddies! a story-based life sim in which you help Matsi, a small Have athlete, trolling make yeah, new friends, build a gorgeous garden, and learn new techniques to better handle stress yes, a monster and friend him up. We love the new friends that we created, and we can't wait to share them. I know, them. Nilly. Like, now enjoy the I first honestly always think of, of you when it comes to climbing games. This summer to Switch and Steam. <gasps> Switch and Steam! Oh my god. World premiere. Matsi! Want to help me give this place a makeover? Build your garden! Build your garden. Y'all, what's going in your garden? What's going in your garden? Are you the kind of person that does like a little bit of everything? Do you have things like itemized, like flowers in one place, mushrooms in another? Or do you go like all theme? All theme, like all just mushrooms. All just like, <laughs> all just like forest stuff. All just like flowers, trees only. Oh, <gasps> there's a rhythm game in it, cute. I'm unique. I'm loved. I'm important. Oh my god. Oh my god, it has breathing exercises and meditation. Oh. Cute. That's so cute. In a so tiny sweet. sticker tale, help a young donkey named Flame in their journey to reunite with their father. Use a magic <gasps> sticker book donkey. to take anything from the world around you and turn it cute. into a sticker. Use we were just talking about there's been a lot of games with stickers places, as well solving puzzles i love when games slip in med friends. meditation me too i actually really enjoy that when they're like let's stop and like just take a second like and enjoy because there's so much stuff i love these sorts of puzzle games me too these are so good gotta have a little bit of everything acorn house for sure everything food related and ferns and carnivorous plants Everdeep Cute. Aurora is a small 2D <gasps> adventure and exploration game that tells cat? the story of an adventurous cat? little cat, cat named cat? Shell searching for her missing mother. Sticker tell is kind of like sticker scribble knots. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Meditation scenes were my favorite part of cyberpunk. Oh. Your mother calls from the ever deep. Wait, wait. Are you a cat? And your cat mom is like. Is your cat this mom like an eldritch horror? This unexpected unravel many secrets <gasps> about the world around her. Oh, I love that owl. You deserve a reward for your patience. This is neat. Everdeep Aurora. Whoa, that looks interesting. Cat, Cat Mom is missing it said. <gasps> World premiere! Ooh, this is pretty. This is so pretty. This is so pretty! From the creator of Omno, Kibu <gasps> is a tranquil adventure in the heart of the oh wilderness. Oh my gosh, Omno was so good. I love Domno. That was the one Build where we temple, skittered around with garden, the like brew delicious the tea snow and adventure out into the wilds to harvest the riches of nature. Oh, you play as like a red panda. Very Humblewood vibes, nature exploration. Oh my God. <gasps> Carve out your Whoa! own special corner of home in a beautiful, mysterious land. That looks really good. There's so many things I'm like, that looks good. I'm so In excited. This cozy platformer, <gasps> play as young witch Flora who cooks this is, in the We saw this one recently. This looks so good. This one is a cooking witch. This is a cooking witch game. Cooking, witch, cooking, witch, cooking, witch. Choose a fitting recipe and gather <gasps> ingredients through different means while exploring this beautiful harbor town. Let's start with slowly roasting the mushrooms in the oven and preparing the cooking pot. Remember, I wish for this I know. Order, you were asked to avoid anything spicy. Oh my Laura, god, that's so cute! You only have a spicy horn pepper. 
<sighs> oh, I want to play this. It's not in the recipe, but you can use additional ingredients to outweigh the flavors of others. Let it stir Ooh. with a spark of magic. <gasps> come back in a second to collect it. Oh my god, is that a dragon, friend? You can pet the dragon! Now, it's time to deliver your magical delicacies. The fabled stew! Magical delicacy! Get magical ready delicacy. to meet, befriend, and care for adorable puppies while exploring paradise in our next game. Welcome to paradise. <gasps> Puppy paradise? Excuse Puppy paradise. me? We have Excuse a me? ton of pups Excuse for me? you to befriend. Excuse me? Make sure to bathe, feed, and play with them. Unlock hundreds of clothes and accessories to dress up your pups and create your own unique style. Get your friends kitted out and hunt <gasps> ding, ding, for treasure ding, ding, on ding, ding, What a good dog! Hike and what a good dog! Mountains. Go on your very own adventure and explore this an is island so full cute. of puppies. Be sure to check every nook and cranny. Oh my Although god, HD Nintendo dogs. The old Nintendo puppy game but better. Build and customize it for you and the furry locals. There's so much here for this you to discover. This is so cute. And so many friends to make in this relaxing and exciting puppy adventure. We can't oh, wait to welcome you to the island. <laughs> Little friends puppy island, y'all. So the Guardian cute. of Nature is a puzzle adventure game <gasps> with lovely the Garden of The Guardian of Nature. Animations. <gasps> it's about handcrafted a animations? That connects what? The whole forest and its vegetation. You are brought into this magical world and play Henry, a botanist and the last guardian of nature. Henry the One day, botanist! Henry finds out that the mother tree is in danger and that oh, he no. needs to go on an urgent journey. Oh my journey god, I'm already so involved in this, y'all. I'm already Explore like the I'm world in it. Being, above I'm and ready. Below I'm ready to help out Henry. Solve solar punk puzzles and see <laughs> how everything is connected. Accompany Henry on his journey. Use your ability to change in size and <gasps> find out about Cute. the large and tiny wonders of this world. Wishlist the Guardian of Nature. Now the Guardian of Nature. That looks really cute. That looks really soft and sweet. <gasps> we played this demo and it was so good and the devs came in to hang out with us and they said our puns were really good and they wish they had put them into the game. Do you all remember that? This game was so much fun. This game was so much fun. We had such a good time playing this one. We literally, cause we were uncovering locations and every location was a pun and we started to make up puns in the chat and the devs were like, oh dang, that's better than ours. We should, we should have made it that. <laughs> This game is so cute and it's so fun. And it has so many good Easter eggs in it. I really, really want to play more of this one. Little Gator, the lamb from Cult of the Lamb. Ah! Okay, early 2024, write it down. We gotta play that one as soon as it comes out. It's so cute. I loved that demo. <gasps> it was so much fun. The crossovers are really good. They just have so many things in there. Wait, feed the monsters. Oh my God, this is literally called Feed All Monsters. It's me, I'm a monster. I have to be fed. Welcome to Manita's Kitchen, where you'll meet Trexito, a T-Rex with short Dinosaur arms kitchen. that has one dream Dinosaur to kitchen. become the best pizza maker. Me too, Nilly. <laughs> the best pizza maker? It's called Manita's Kitchen! Join Trexy and their four dino friends in this culinary adventure, but be warned. The competition's conspiracy could oh my ruin God, wait. everything. Other dinosaurs show up in your kitchen to ruin your pizza? Get out of here. <gasps> Oh, are they gonna make it possible to play on your phone? Oh, that's so Unpacking cute! Unpacking is a Zen game about the so familiar people can play it on their phone now. Out of this is such a beautiful game. I'm glad that home. there are gonna be more ways to play it. This game is so beautiful, and I'm really excited that it means more people can play it. You know what Coming I mean? Coming to phone and tablet later this year. 
That is beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can get my sister joining, to play that like one because she mostly only plays you mobile about games. Our collaboration with the Able Gamers charity. Able Gamers creates opportunities for people turbo, with disabilities yeah, cute. to enjoy it's video the games by providing specialized equipment, advice, and education. They assist individuals in getting the peripherals they need, work with developers to improve accessibility, and more. And this year, we are partnering with the Yeti to we offer next two for Able Gamers limited in chat. time Look at these Wholesome Direct t-shirts that celebrate today's event, and 100% of the proceeds benefit Able Gamers. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit ablegamers.org and get your limited time t-shirts uh, at the Yeti.com slash Wholesome Games. I have both of last year's Wholesome Game Events shirts. They are both fantastic and I love them so much and I cannot recommend them enough and the money all goes to a good cause. Highly, highly recommend. And also, the only reason I'm not screaming is because we're playing this demo, y'all. It's because I'm internally screaming at the top of my lungs right now. Um, I already started to play this demo and it's so good. It is so good. It is so good. Botany Manor. Botany Manor! That's right. That's right, baby. We already have it. I have it on the schedule for Monday, but I think we'll do a little bit of it today and a little bit of mon on Monday because it is that good and it is very big and there's a lot to do in it. So we could honestly do both. I'm probably gonna do a little bit today and a little bit on Monday. Cause the problem is that it's so big. I would easily, honestly, I would spend hours in it. It's so big and it's so beautiful. And I cannot wait to play it and share it with y'all. But we have, I have like Solar nine Punk demos for today. Survival crafting so we'll do a little look at Botany Manor and then we'll do the majority of, of play islands. on Monday. It's so good. Oh my God, y'all, Botany Manor. Ah! It's one of the ones I've been waiting for for like Live in since it was announced. With nature and use sunlight, so wind, and water to create an energy system and Solar automate punk. your processes like gathering resources and watering I your plants. I am very excited for this game. I will say, several people have already said it, that like, I wish it had a like, you know, solar punk colon another part of the name where the name was like a little different. Because for me, the fact that it's just named after the whole genre is like we very big. a blacksmith's village it's very big. on an it's isle very of big. the land's <laughs> finest artisans. White Thorn makes the goddamn best games. Like White Thorn Games, one of my favorite publishers, and they do so much work on accessibility. White Thorn Games Step is into the doing the of an work. Expert smith for crafty adventure oh, filled with Welcome mystery in. and charm. Oh my god! You ever just like pull a castle out of the ground? Y'all ever just like pull a whole ass castle out of the ground? Sneaky Sam! You shouldn't be here. Who sent you? Ah! Proof that a hammer anvil and your wits can this overcome so... any challenge actually yes <laughs> hey hefty thank you so much for the bits welcome in i hope you're having a very Coming nice next, saturday we've got a fresh look at the life sim wildflowers Wait. and some of the recent updates it's received <gasps> oh they're gonna talk about all the updates we were the playing romance, this yesterday it's one of my favorite y'all it's one of my favorite games on the ground. i call that a tuesday <laughs> y'all if there's anyone here and you haven't seen our wildflower streams yet this game, this game has it all. This game deserves all I'm these Tara. awards. He's a wild granddaughter. Nice it's so good. You. Join Tara on a yes. heartfelt journey to become Gigi, a witch do it. in Wildflowers. Gigi, do it. I dare you. Gigi, do it. I dare you. Oh my gosh, you look so good. Farm by day and cast spells by night as you craft your cottage core life and bond with your coven. For anyone that doesn't know, this game has a really good story and a really good mystery. It's so much fun. And it is so gay. Come to know and love the fully voice acted characters of Fairhaven as you unravel a local mystery. <gasps> Cat! I love you, Tara Wild. Ah! So gay, so good. So gay, and it's so good. Come to the lighthouse, my <gasps> Come as fast as you can. These hills are a prison. And I'm Lighthouse? breaking out. Moira McKinnon Whoa. is running away from home across the Scottish Highlands Whoa. to reach the sea. Scramble Hi, over peaks, decipher maps, explore Highland song. and this rush through beautiful. valleys in time to music. Collect the stories of the hills and of Moira's past.
If you could change your fate. <laughs> Do you sushi think in that game you get to change your fate? About saving a struggling sushi bar by bringing in new customers. The game also okay. uses unique 3D manga panels I to add film links to VR. I love that you're saving a struggling sushi bar, but I do not like the way that they just grabbed a whole ass pig and I think they're going to murder it. You have to help customers with their problems <gasps> before they agree to accompany you for dinner. This is the game where you dinner. can punch a seagull! This is the game where you can punch a seagull! Seagull punch. Here's the latest from Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley. <gasps> Melody of Moomin Valley! In the northern Val. part of the world, Anarchy! a global phenomenon was born. Capitalism! Uwe Jansson, a, a cherished artist and author, created the intriguing world of Moomin Valley, transcending cultural boundaries <laughs> right, sorry. the hearts of millions. <laughs> it's what we saw in the other Moomin's preview for that game. Moomin's <laughs> can be traced through the stories, themes of friendship, melancholy, and adventure which have resonated with audiences across generations. Oh my god, is there like a Moominville land somewhere? Among the inhabitants somewhere? of Moomin Valley, we find a free-thinking spirit and Did y'all grow up with Moominville? Because legit, legit, I didn't know about Moominville until Snufkin, very recently in life. A true wanderer, he has embraced a nomadic lifestyle, this cherishing guy, his independence this guy's a good time. and sense of adventure above all. When harmony is disturbed in Moomin Valley, he returns to restore the natural order of untamed beauty and rescue his best friend, Moomin It's one of those ones where I feel like Join some people Snufkin's grew up with it, and if you knew it, you knew Snufkin. it, but if you didn't, it's, it's such a... Valley. You have three squishes of them? Really? I'd never heard from before it. I've heard of the Moomin The star named Park, Eos though. is a first-person narrative puzzle adventure That's so game interesting. that explores the power of photography It's big in certain memories. parts of the UK. Ah, Immerse I love yourself Moomin. In a hand -drawn See, I had never heard of it until very Solve recently. Puzzles and recreate There's photos a Moomin line in Finland. Oh! Moments. A star named e Eos. Eos? Oh, I love picture-taking games. Picture-taking games are so cute. Fall of Porcupine is Earth. a unique story adventure. Earth. 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 <gasps> Clean up party! <laughs> Cute. Experience the exciting story of Finley and his friends in a lovingly illustrated world. Cute! This looks really good too. Pitch it in a lab coat! <laughs> Fall of Porcupine. That's so interesting. June. Oh my God. That's in five everyone, days. That game is coming out in five days. The story of Seasons in the West. Here's a little snippet into some gameplay for Story of Seasons: A Wonderful Life, which is coming out this June 27th. First things yeah, first. Yeah, bigger green beans. Your own character. For those who played the original, you can see how much more choice you have now, and so I've made the decision Cute. to make it myself. You can even change I never got to play this. Have y'all like gotten to play this? To oh, they them pronouns. Let's of go. Of course, life on the farm is nice and relaxed, and Isn't we've made some changes straight, to make it even like, more relaxing with better hello? movement, upgradable tools, and some helpful new Isn't facilities. Isn't that guy straight? I meant to say straight we've out of um, new hybrid crops, so you can Harvest Moon. That guy's straight out of Harvest Moon. Unusual creations. I swear I've seen that exact character in Harvest Moon before. And there's so much to uncover here. I don't want to spoil too much, so let me just tell you <gasps> I've married Nami and our daughter Mina is the cutest thing ever. It's time for me to say goodbye, so let me leave you with a quick snuggle moment. Oh my god, oh my god. Story of Seasons is Harvest Moon. The whole thing with Harvest Moon is Story of Seasons, yeah. It is Harvest Moon. Okay, I just wasn't sure. It is literally like peace for, like those are exactly all the characters. Okay, because the last freaking Harvest Moon I played was the one that was on like the GameCube or something like that. I haven't gotten to play Harvest Moon in years, but I freaking loved it. I know, RJ, I'm just calling it out. I'm a monster like that. I'm just calling it out. That, isn't that guy, that guy, that guy's straight. Mm, I don't know about this. <laughs> ah, this looks so cute. Yeah. Doji Harvest Moon is on Switch now with us. Oh, interesting. Waterfront Square. <gasps> this looks so good. Bookshop, bookshop store. Traveling bookshop. Y'all, this is like the freaking dream right here. Last one I played was the one on the Wii. 
But I uh, do better these days with handheld devices. Yeah, I get you. The company split at some point. Sort of season folks stayed true to the original plan. Ah, oh. RJ. Oh, I think we played a demo of this, and it was very funny. Like it was very silly. The weather, the weather makes me want to throw a party. This game was very silly. I want a bookmobile. Me too. And the, like, I think. I don't know if it, this is true, but I thought I remembered it being saying like it was inspired by like certain East Coast vibes because like there was a lot from it from that little bookstore one that reminded me of when I lived in Nova Scotia. It looks very much like that. It looks so cute and looks so cozy and comfy and fun. I'm really excited for that one. This one looks silly, but I do remember we played a little demo of it and it was genuinely so much fun. It was very silly. like doing certain things caused other like weird things to happen. It was like a series of unfortunate events, but very fun and very silly and very cute. Wooden weather, that's right. The demo, oh my God, we have the demo for this. We can play it. <laughs> Around here, we yee-haw and ha yee Next up and is everything Campfire in between. Cat Cafe, a mobile game where you build, manage, and design Campfire Cat a relaxing Cafe. cat cafe and snack bar in the forest. Campfire Cat Cafe, what? Those are all things I love. I love campfire. I love cats. I love cafes. I love a campfire cat cafe. Chef Gina! Brown! I want to open an IRL bookstore, TTRPG board section as a way for like give people a place to hang out where cats are. Cat after cafe after is school an activities. Where you oh, open Riley, a that's so cute. Forest, with cute animals. Riley, I love that. <laughs> This is really, like even just the border, like even just the like little border of it. This is so sweet looking. Decorate and level up your restaurant and open new areas and activities for your customers to enjoy. Oh my God, look at the grumpy giraffe. Did y'all see the, oh my God. Look at these characters. They're so cute. I want to open up a restaurant in the forest filled with cute animals. Y'all ever want to open up a, a restaurant in the... Okay, tag yourself. Are you a restaurant in the forest with cute animals? Or are you a mobile bookshop <laughs> next to a bunch of cute light lighthouses? <laughs> Feels the story we're made of. <gasps> Miho must venture through a world of endless deserts, Miho! floating mountains, and talking Hello? beasts, outsmarting thieves, and meeting quirky characters along the way. Oh my god, this looks so cute! Big Coco vibes? Is anyone else? That's like your abuela. Abuela sent a Miho to go get. Never forget Nana. Sopa! Oh, f off it's that is the most wholesome i was not just the name is so evocative like just the fact that it's called sopa in tracks of thought you're a little ladybug who's still figuring things out that's too cute I'm, and you're figuring out why no I, one in this train can remember I'm where dead. they're going From all the cuteness Team up in, with this one goddamn, of seven in this goddamn in this goddamn event i'm so dead own personality Help out Everything the passengers, is too cute. settle your differences in card battles, Flexing and learn bugs, how to deal with conflict flex. together. Oh, looks like the train's bug arriving flex. soon. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Just scared that little old lady. What the? What was that? What? It's like drone drop the game. Urban accessibility in games. That's really. I'm really curious about this. City planning, but make it cute. Very curious. Go, go town, super early sneak peek. Coming July 3rd, cute. That's it's really almost interesting. It's time to say goodbye. 
Before we no, go, we'd don't like say to goodbye. share even more wholesome games coming your way this year and beyond. These are going to go by fast, so don't forget to visit okay, wholesomegames.com after the show for all the info and links to the games. Don't forget exclamation point wholesome if you want like all of this to be listed. Cato! I'm going to call out all the names. Look at this!
me throw you. Come on, I'll throw you real far. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of our program. Yay! Remember to visit wholesomegames.com for links to every game featured in today's show. We'll see you again next year for Wholesome Direct 2024. Hell but yeah! Before we go, here is one last <gasps> one last game. game. One last game. One last game. One last game. Y'all ready? Oh! <gasps> Fields of Mystria. Cute. Build the farm of your dreams. I'm always so curious to see which of these they, because they always do this every year. If you go back and see some of the previous years, they do like the larger event my 1990s anime heart <laughs> they do the larger event with lots of different stuff they do the rapid fire like little kind of finisher thing and then they do one big announcement at the end so they do this every year and i wonder if there's going to be an announcement of like when this one is coming out frog song is out now is it i mean we could check <laughs> <gasps> that looks so pretty in the crystal Battle Enchanted Bows. Oh, I didn't realize this had so much in it. Okay, so it's somewhat story, somewhat open world. Yeah, what are y'all feeling? Like Sailor Moon Farming Sim? Oh, I never even thought of that. Oh my God, look at the animals, look at the horses. I'm so glad you've come to Mystria. Wouldn't be the same without you. Fields of Mystria coming 2024. Oh my God, that's so, I hadn't, I hadn't seen much of that. OG Zelda Stardew, oh Hi. true. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Gab! Oh my god, Gab! Oh my god, Gab! <laughs> Wishlist some games and play some demos. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was so good. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. I'm so excited. That was so good. What a fantastic time. Those shirts are on sale now and all the profits uh, go to help out Able Gamers. So don't forget to go check that out if that is something uh, that you are interested in. It's a really fantastic cause. And as I've already said, I have both of last year's shirts and I love them. Honestly, they're some of my most used shirts. I love them, they're comfy, they're cute, they're wonderful. Uh, I cannot recommend them enough. Thank you so much everyone for hanging out with me. We uh, don't go anywhere just yet. I mean, unless you gotta go and then go, get out of here, go take care of yourself. But 